In this mock test, you will have 57 minutes to answer 50 multiple choice questions. A minimum of 43 correct answers is required to pass. What type of vehicle displays this yellow sign? A broken down vehicle? A school bus? An ice cream van? A private ambulance? You're in a one-way street and want to turn right. There are two lanes. Where should you position your vehicle? In the right-hand lane. In the left-hand lane. In either lane, depending on the traffic. Just left of the centre line. What does this sign mean? Turn left for parking area. No through road on the left. No entry for traffic turning left. Turn left for ferry terminal. When may you cross a double solid white line in the middle of the road? To pass traffic that's queuing back at a junction? To pass a car signalling to turn left ahead? To pass a road maintenance vehicle travelling at 10 miles per hour or less? To pass a vehicle that's towing a trailer? You're on a good dry road surface. Your brakes and tyres are good. What's the typical overall stopping distance at 40 miles per hour? 23 metres, 75 feet, 36 metres, 118 feet, 53 metres, 175 feet, 96 metres, 315 feet. How will 
your vehicle be affected when you drive up steep hills? The higher gears will pull better. The steering will feel heavier. Overtaking will be easier. The engine will work harder. You're carrying an 11-year-old child in the back seat of your car. They're under 1.35 meters, 4 feet 5 inches, tall. What must you make sure of? That they sit between two belted people. That they can fasten their own seat belt. That a suitable child restraint is available. That they can see clearly out of the front window. You're about to drive home from holiday when you become ill. A doctor prescribes drugs that are likely to affect your driving. What should you do? Only drive if someone is with you. Avoid driving on motorways. Get someone else to drive. Never drive at more than 30 miles per hour. Which type of vehicle does this sign apply to? Wide vehicles Long vehicles High vehicles Heavy vehicles You see a pedestrian carrying a white stick with a red band. What does this tell you? They have limited mobility. They're deaf. They're blind. They're deaf and blind. Before overtaking a large vehicle, you should keep well back. Why is this? To give acceleration space to overtake quickly on blind bends. To get the best view of the road ahead. To leave a gap in case the vehicle stops and rolls back. To offer other drivers a safe gap if they want to overtake you.
You can't see clearly behind when reversing. What should you do? Open the window to look behind. Open the door to look behind. You're following a vehicle at a safe distance on a wet road. Before starting a journey, it's wise to plan your route. You're driving on a clear night. There's a steady stream of oncoming traffic. The national speed limit applies. Which lights should you use? Full beam headlights. Side lights. Dipped headlights. Fog lights. You're driving on a you're driving on a clear night. There's a steady stream of oncoming traffic. The national speed limit applies. Which lights should you use? Full beam headlights. Side lights. Dipped headlights. Fog lights. Before starting a journey, it's wise to plan your route. How can you do this? Look at a map. Contact your local garage. Look in your vehicle handbook. Check your vehicle registration document. You're following a vehicle at a safe distance on a wet road. Another driver overtakes you and pulls into the gap you've left. What should you do? Flash your headlights as a warning. Try to overtake safely as soon as you can. Drop back to regain a safe distance. Stay close to the other vehicle until it moves on. Who can use a toucan crossing? Cars and motorcycles. Cyclists and pedestrians. Buses and lorries. Trams and trains. What is a cover note? A document issued before you receive your driving license. 
a document issued before you receive your insurance certificate. A document issued before you receive your registration document. A document issued before you receive your MOT certificate. You're on a busy main road and find that you're travelling in the wrong direction. What should you do? Turn into a side road on the right and reverse into the main road. Make a U-turn in the main road. Make a three-point turn in the main road. Turn around in a side road. Why is it particularly important to carry out a check on your vehicle before making a long motorway journey? You'll have to do more harsh braking on motorways. Motorway service stations don't deal with breakdowns. The road surface will wear down the tyres faster. Continuous high speeds increase the risk of your vehicle breaking down. You're at the front of a queue of traffic waiting to turn right into a side road. Why is it important to check your right mirror just before turning? To look for pedestrians about to cross. To check for overtaking vehicles. To make sure the side road is clear. To check for emerging traffic. What should you do when moving off from behind a parked car? Give a signal after moving off. Check both interior and exterior mirrors. Look around after moving off. Use the exterior mirrors only. At an incident, someone is unconscious. What would your priority be? Find out their name. Wake them up. Make them comfortable. Check their airway is open. What should you do when you see two elderly pedestrians 
about to cross the road ahead. Expect them to wait for you to pass. Speed up to get past them quickly. Stop and wave them across the road. Be careful, they may misjudge your speed. What should you do if you see a large box fall from a lorry onto the motorway? Go to the next emergency telephone and report the hazard. Catch up with the lorry and try to get the driver's attention. Stop close to the box until the police arrive. Pull over to the hard shoulder, then remove the box. When you use the brakes, your vehicle pulls to one side. What should you do? Increase the pressure in your tyres. Have the brakes checked as soon as possible. Change gear and pump the brake pedal. Use your parking brake at the same time. What should the driver of the red car, Arrowed, do? Wave towards the pedestrians who are waiting to cross. Wait for the pedestrian in the road to cross. Quickly drive behind the pedestrian in the road. Tell the pedestrian in the road she shouldn't have crossed. Where on a motorway would you find green reflective studs? Separating driving lanes Between the hard shoulder and the carriageway At slip road entrances and exits Between the carriageway and the central reservation You shouldn't normally travel on the hard shoulder of a motorway. When can you use it? When taking the next exit? When traffic is stopped? When signs direct you to? When traffic is slow moving?
What does this sign mean? Motorcycles only. No cars. Cars only. No motorcycles. You're travelling along a street with parked vehicles on the left-hand side. Why should you keep your speed down? So that oncoming traffic can see you more clearly. You may set off car alarms. There may be delivery lorries on the street. Children may run out from between the vehicles. You see this sign ahead. What should you expect? The road will go steeply uphill. The road will go steeply downhill. The road will bend sharply to the left. The road will bend sharply to the right. You're going straight ahead at a roundabout. How should you signal? Signal right on the approach and then left to leave the roundabout. Signal left after you leave the roundabout and enter the new road. Signal right on the approach to the roundabout and keep the signal on. Signal left just after you pass the exit before the one you're going to take. In which conditions should you leave at least a two-second gap between your vehicle and the one in front? Wet, dry, damp, foggy. You arrive at an incident. There's no danger from fire or further collisions. What's your first priority when attending to an unconscious motorcyclist? Check whether they're breathing normally. Check whether they're bleeding. Check whether they have any broken bones. Check whether they have any bruising. You see a pedestrian with a dog wearing a yellow or burgundy coat. What does this indicate? The pedestrian is elderly. 
The pedestrian. You've been taking medicine that causes drowsiness. You begin to feel better, but you still need to take the medicine. What should you do about driving? Only drive if your journey is necessary. Drive on quiet roads. Ask someone to come with you. Avoid driving and check with your doctor. What should you do if a trailer starts to swing from side to side while you're towing it? Ease off the accelerator to reduce your speed. Let go of the steering wheel and let it correct itself. Brake hard and hold the pedal down. Accelerate until it stabilizes. What's most likely to waste fuel? Reducing your speed. Driving on motorways. Using different brands of fuel. Under inflated tyres. What will help when you're trying to move off on snow? Use the car's lowest gear. Use a higher gear than normal. Use a high engine speed. Use the handbrake and foot brake together. You've just driven out of fog. What must you do now that visibility has improved? Switch off your fog lights. Keep your rear fog lights switched on. Keep your front fog lights switched on. Leave your fog lights switched on in case the fog returns. You're approaching a roundabout. There are horses just ahead of you. What should you do? Sound your horn as a warning. Treat them like any other vehicle. Give them plenty of room. Accelerate past as quickly as possible. What does this white line along the centre of the road mean? Bus lane marking. Hazard warning. 
Give way warning. Lane marking. You've had a breakdown on the hard shoulder of a motorway. When the problem has been fixed, how should you rejoin the main carriageway? Move out onto the carriageway, then build up your speed. Move out onto the carriageway using your hazard warning lights. Gain speed on the hard shoulder before moving out onto the carriageway. Wait on the hard shoulder until someone flashes their headlights at you. In heavy motorway traffic, the vehicle behind you is following too closely. How can you lower the risk of a collision? Increase your distance from the vehicle in front. Brake sharply. Switch on your hazard warning lights. Move onto the hard shoulder and stop. You're travelling in the left-hand lane of a three-lane motorway. How should you react to traffic joining from a slip road? Race the other vehicles. Move to another lane. Maintain a steady speed. Switch on your hazard warning lights. You're waiting in a traffic queue at night. How can you avoid dazzling drivers behind you? Use the parking brake only. Use the foot brake only. Use the clutch with the accelerator. Use the parking brake with the foot brake. You're carrying a five-year-old child in the back seat of your car. They're under 1.35 metres, 4 feet 5 inches, tall. A correct child restraint isn't available. How should you seat them? Behind the passenger seat. Using an adult seat belt. Sharing a belt with an adult. Between two other children. You 
you intend to turn left at the traffic lights, what should you do just before turning? Check your right mirror. Move up close to the white car. Straddle the lanes. Check for bicycles on your left. What's the maximum speed of powered wheelchairs or scooters used by disabled people? 8 miles per hour 12 miles per hour 16 miles per hour 20 miles per hour What should you do when you're following a learner driver who stalls at a junction? Be patient as you expect them to make mistakes. Stay very close behind and flash your headlights. Start to rev your engine if they take too long to restart. Immediately steer around them and drive on.